you would like to code along with this demonstration, visit the GitHub link in the video description. On the repository site, you'll actually find the starter code as well as some instructions to get things up and running. So what we're going to do is create a little type ahead here where we're going to really be focusing in on just using the RxJS to issue multiple REST service calls and then basically filter a list of values as we type into the input field. So let's go ahead and get started here with creating an input field. And then we also need to bind this to a, uh, a reactive uh, form control. So we'll say form control equal to, and we're going to call this color search text input. And then we'll simply just have ourselves uh, connect ourselves into the actual input event so that we can do the search on each keystroke. So do color search. Underneath of this, we're going to have an unordered list, which will be the list of colors. There's our list item. And we'll say ng4 equal to let color of colors. Because this is going to be a stream, um, we're simply going to say colors uh, dollar sign, which is the convention. Not required. You can leave the dollar sign off if you want, but it is the convention to include it. And then we're going to pipe this through the async pipe. And then we'll actually output the color here. Okay, so now that we've got our list set up, let's head over to our app component TS. We have a couple of things pre-coded ahead of time. I have all of the imports here at the top. Also, I've added our color search text input and our form control. And we're going to actually start here with our do color search. So with our do color search, what we need to do is actually capture the color value that's typed in and do a search with it. To do this, we're going to need to create an actual um, observable um, for the searching of the color process. And I'm going to come into here and actually say search color dollar sign equal to and we're going to make this an actual behavior subject. So behavior subjects are both the observer and the observable. So this will be observing what we type in to the field and then generating the value from what we type in to pass it into the actual searching process. So we're going to say new behavior subject. We will be typing in a string and we will initialize it to an empty string. So then we're going to come down here and simply say this dot search color and then we're going to say next. This is where the observer part comes in. It's going to be generating the values. And it's going to generate them off of our color search text input dot value. And that's using our reactive form control. Now what we need to do is actually wire up the color dollar, colors dollar sign. So if you can see here, there's colors dollar sign. That's the actual list that we're going to output. And that needs to somehow connect into search color dollar sign, which is what we actually which is what we're actually searching on. So coming into here now, I'm going to say colors dollar sign, and we're going to make this an observable of string array. There we go. And we'll say this dot search color dollar sign dot pipe. So now we're going to make use of our operators above. The first one we're going to use here is actually the switch map operator. And what this means is use the result from the last request. So as we're typing in, we're going to be making multiple HTTP requests to the REST service. They can come back in any order, but we're only interested in the result of the last one we requested. And so that's why we're going to use the switch map. So we'll do switch map, and then we're going to have our search color text. And then we're going to say return this.http client dot get. And this is going to return back an array of colors. So we have our color interface pulled in from up here. In fact, the colors will actually look like this. They'll have ID, name, and hex code. And you can actually also see that in the dbjson file, ID, name, and hex code. So coming back over to here, we're going to say get color. Then we'll give it our URL. So localhost 4250 slash colors question mark name underscore like. So this is just the convention of using the JSON server, which is what's powering our REST service here. So we'll then do our search color text. There we go. So there's our switch map. Now, oh, can't forget our little plus sign over here. So there's our switch map. Now what we want to do is take that array of color objects and map that to basically an array of strings, which is what our observable is expecting. So we'll use the map function here provided by RxJS. 
and we'll simply just say color array arrow colors dot map and then we'll say color arrow color dot name there we go so now I've got my observable of colors there so we should have all the parts and pieces here to make this work we'll go ahead and run it so open up our terminal window and we'll say npm start this will fire up the actual angular application give it a second here and we'll open this up and we should see we have all of our colors listed and then watch what happens when we type in if I type in a l i now we're down to Alice blue pretty cool right so as we're typing in it's actually limiting that list now let's take a look at something interesting over here in the network so if I come over to the network here and I zoom in, I'm going to refresh that. So there's our load. I'm going to clear this. Now watch what happens when I type in BLA. You can see it actually, it actually ran the request on each keystroke. But what if I type things really fast? Do I really want to call that over and over and over again or would I rather wait until there's kind of a moment where the user stops typing and then make a request to the server right because if they're typing so fast they're not going to see those other requests well I can certainly do that I can come over to here and we're going to make a slight change into our piping mechanism here we're going to add a debounce time and we're going to say if the user pauses for 500 milliseconds in their timing then make the request if not let's wait until they actually do finish typing and then we'll make the request there we go so now let's go ahead and run this reload again so we'll clear this now watch what happens if I type in BLA notice it only made one request it didn't make a bunch now if I go really slow now it makes the request because I'm typing slowly but if I type fast it only makes the one for that request there. So using the debounce time can get us some better performance by not making a bunch of unnecessary requests because the user is typing in data quickly. So there you go. There's the power of RxJS to build your own type ahead component with Angular.